Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we will learn how to install math type, right reactions, right equations, insert equations in the word, and insert references to the equations. So for the first part, install math type in your PCs or in your desktops. So you, I will leave a link down in the description. You can easily follow it how to install it. We will move to the second part, which is writing the examples uh, one and example two in Microsoft Word. Really easy and simple. So we are going to write those equations. So just for reference, I'm going to copy these equations. I'm going to paste it over here so that we know what we are going to write. So this is just an image. So just for reference, now we are going to see, uh, what we are going to do is once we install math type, we can easily see the math type uh, tab or rib in the ribbon. So just click on math type and click on inline. So once you click on inline, a screen will pop out. And then what you can do is you can write equation simply. So for example, I'm just going to show you uh, write an equation first and I'll show you what you can do with that. So now for example, you have H2O. So once you're writing H2O, what you can do is go here, select this one. And you can see over here different options. One, if you want to uh, raise it to the power uh, superscript, if you want to write in subscript, you can easily click on this one. Then simply click here, bracket, liquid, close, plus electrical energy. Okay, now it says that you cannot use space bar. So what you can do is you can hold the control button and you can press the space bar. So normally you cannot press space bar. So if you hold the control button and press space bar, you can easily write that. So once you are done with this one, you can write like this. So this is electrical energy. Now we need to use an arrow and we can simply write arrow like this. Okay, so now we are going to write again, put a space control and space bar. And then we're going to write H2. And then this goes to the subscript and then comes the face gas plus one over two. So now one thing now, as you can see that we need one over two fraction. So what we can do is we can select this one and here over here, you can see there are different options for fractions. So we are going to click over here one by two. So as you can see, there are one more option over here, which you can see over here, something like this. Let's try that one. And I'm going to remove this one and put this fraction over here, one over two. So this is a, a little bit smaller than that one and looks much better. And now you can do the same process for this one to go to the uh, bottom and subscript and then comes the G. Now, once you are done with this one, what you can do is you can press control and S, save it. And then once you close it, your equation will automatically come over here. Now there's some space over here. I'm going to remove that space. And now you can see your equation is right over here. So they are both equally uh, same equations. What you can do is now this is the main form. So now you can see once you click here, you can see there's a box over here. And if you double click here, the equation will pop out again. So now what you can do with these equations? Well, you can change the format and size of these equations. For example, if you want to in different color, it might not show over here, but you can see here that the color is red. So if you select here format color and change it to red, then you can see over here also save it and you will see the exact shape over here. Now, what else if you, you can do with this one? If you go into format, you can also change line spacing and you can also define the spacing. For example, how many spacing that you want between two equations, like first equation here, second equations here. Similarly, go to the second part, matrix row separation. If you are dealing with matrix, you can have different options. So you have de detailed information for whatever equation that you want. You can easily write with a useful example on the right hand side. So for example, in this case style, if you, this right now we are using the math type. If you use in the text form, it will just show a simple equation like this. And you can see that this is converted this part. Now we can just simply replace it with this one. And it just looks as similar as the one that the equation was written in that specific reference. So for example, I'm going to select this all and I'm going to change to style and then change it to math type. Now this is one way. So there are different set of options over here. Uh, equations, the mathematic, uh, mathematics, science, mathematical science, and different, uh, different, uh, different uh, options that you can use. For example, sometimes we use in the optimization or uh, when you're writing a formulation, you can easily use these equations in your uh, in your papers and all that. They have a lot of set of equations. You also have algebra, derivatives, statistics, matrices, statistics, sets, trigonometry, geometry. So there are a lot of things you can do with this one. So this was the first part. So if you want to reduce the size, you can also go here, style and define, 
and then you will have a different option for example right now the primary uh, font is times new roman if you want you can change the style and if you want more advanced features you can click on advanced and then you can simply choose whatever you want i'm just going to click on ok and now when it goes to size you can go into define and you can define your size over here right now it's 10 you can reduce it to 10 also so let's say save this equation and then close it now just quickly just change the color i just uh, more like uh, to have a black color which looks more uh, genuine and appropriate so one more thing is that once you see the equation over here you have different options here which shows insert number so once you click in the equation you click over here insert number it will ask prompt you something which is starting chapter number one starting section number one so if your section has uh, if your manuscript has sections so you can easily see these ones appropriately and they will number according to that so once you click ok you will see a number pop out over here and let's see it's taking a bit while okay the number comes over here and now you can see here now just quickly now so let me just uh, do that again put a space first insert number and then press tab and move it to the end okay so this is our equation so let's say if you want to change this equation and write in the text so you can say that we can so in we just write in equation so we want to give a reference now so let's say if you want to add a reference you can see here something like insert reference so once you click here it shows you something that double click on the equation number that you want to reference and the reference will be played automatically so once you click it don't show me again okay and just double click on this one so once you click double click on this one it will automatically update okay so that's one example now let's move toward the second example which is how to write this equation in math type so let's i'm just going to put it as a reference here i'm going to reduce the size here and quickly i'm going to go and type in math type so just click on insert equation now first of all have a u equals to u ref so my way is that i write the equation first and then i go uh, towards dividing uh, or putting the subscripts to the equation so first of all we go like this and then i plus s log logarithmic and then we need the bigger bracket so click over here now you have bigger bracket now we need again need the fraction so we are going to do like this t capital a then then comes the i and then comes plus one so once you're done you can select this one and just select here so now your equation is done so once you save it and then close it your equation is ready to go so now i'm going to add insert number so insert number 1.1 and 1.2 so the good thing is sometimes we don't remember what number of equation should be put because we don't remember while writing the manuscripts or something so this is a really easy and convenient way so that you don't have to remember which equation number it is so now it looks a little bit different so what i can do is i will recommend to use this one which is more better so i'm just going to go and change it to quickly to uh, this one r capital a and what i'm going to do is i'm going to change this one also to r capital a which will look more uh, genuine because it depends on you if your equation looks too big you can change what how it looks like and easily do what you uh, feel is better so now in equation 1.1 and equation let's say equation 1.2 we're going to add a reference again now which equation i want this one double click on this one it will come automatically here so guys this is how you can write equations and now the good thing is that whenever you want you can easily edit that and you can easily use whenever you want and whenever you want to remove you can easily do that so there are different options try them and see which one uh, sets well for you and one more thing I want, I'm going to show you is, for example, x plus y equals to 5. And then x square plus y square plus 3 equals to 5. So one thing is, now I'm going to show you uh, the important part of this uh, uh, this uh, software is that it has it allows you a lot of things. For example, now this equation doesn't look good. Uh, they are they are equally uh, they are how to say they are justified on the right and left hand side but i want them to be more uh, more appropriate and they have a more better looks so what you can do is go to the format and what you can do is uh, align at equal so that means wherever the equal sign is the equation will be aligned according to that no matter about how far is that e equation so go to the format options you have different option which is align center now you can see that all these three equations are all these two equations are in the center so these are some things that you can do. So guys, 
I hope you like this video and if you learned how to make uh, write math type equations in Microsoft Word really easy and simple and what you can do is you can follow the link in the description and learn how to install math type and how to crack it and without purchasing it you can easily use it forever and for as long as you want I hope you guys like this video if you haven't watched my previous videos do watch them and if you haven't like if you haven't subscribed yet do subscribe till then take care Allah Hafiz